Hi, this is Christian Espinoza. In this video, we're going to test anti-malware and we're going to show how easy it is to bypass signature-based anti-malware. A lot of people put tons of faith in anti-malware detecting malicious software, but it's, it's not effective, especially if it's signature-based. Because all signature-based software is looking for with anti-malware software or an IDS, intrusion detection system, is a match on a string, which is the signature. So it's not very effective because attackers know simply to change the signature or the string to bypass the anti-malware. So this is a demonstration of that. So we'll go to the ICAR website here. ICAR, E-I-C-A-R, you see right here. Uh, ICAR is a test file or test string it's, it's in various file formats that is used to validate signature-based IDSs and signature-based anti-malware. So the file, and I'll put this link in the video, the three the files we're gonna look at here, it doesn't really matter which file you grab, It's they all contain a signature. The one we're gonna start with is the icar.com.txt. So I'm gonna try to download this. I'm gonna click on it. And we should get a warning. I didn't turn anything off here. Uh, it's only 68 bytes. It just has a string in there, but I didn't turn off the, any, like, this is a uh, Edge. I didn't turn off anything in Edge to stop it from downloading something malicious. So Edge may detect this, it will. So I'm gonna click on Save. And you notice right here at the bottom, it's unsafe to download. It was blocked by Windows Defender Smart Screen. So it's, there's nothing malicious about this file. It just has a signature that everyone uses f to test that their anti-malware is working uh, or their IDS is working. So in this case, uh, it blocked it, so we need to disable that real quick. So let's go up here to Edge, and this is different for Chrome or Firefox. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just using Edge because it came installed with this Windows 10 Enterprise uh, machine I just set up recently. I certainly recommend something besides Edge, but if you go to Settings here, and if we go to uh, security and privacy or privacy and security, we can scroll down and turn off Windows Defender Smart Screen. Now that that's turned off, we'll try it again and see if it works. icar.com.txt, we'll save it. Looks like it's running, but it was detected and deleted. So Windows Defender caught it this time. So not only did Edge catch it, but Windows Defender caught it since we disabled it, the check in Edge. So now we have to disable Windows Defender. So you can see uh, there's nothing malicious about this file, but it's, it's validating that these various levels of defense are catching it. So let's disable Windows Defender then. So I'm gonna disable Windows Defender. Virus and threat detection, manage settings. We'll turn off the real time. Uh, and we'll turn off cloud delivered as well. So now Windows Defender should be turned off. We'll turn off this one as well. We get the warning. So I just turned off Windows Defender. Now we should be able to actually download it. So we've disabled the anti-malware from Edge and Windows Defender, which will allow us to download this simple text file. All right, so let's go back here. icar.com.txt. We'll save it. Look at the file that was downloaded. We'll go to File Explorer. We'll go to Downloads, and here it is, icar.com, but it's actually a text file. So if we open this up, we can just open it with Notepad. This is all it is. It's just a string of characters or signature that's used to validate anti-malware uh, software or intrusion detection software or firewalls. So that's it. So what we can do is just modify a couple of characters of this. But before we do this, let's let's um, let's upload it to VirusTotal and just see how many anti-malware vendors detect the ICAR test string in VirusTotal. So I'm going to rename this here. I'm going to save it as um, we'll call it badware.exe and. So we call it badware.exe. VirusTotal is a great site to check for, for malicious software. In general, it's a good practice to 
hash the file you want checked rather than upload the file though and check the hash instead of uploading the file because it is possible the file you upload may contain sensitive data uh, for your organization so you don't want to just randomly upload files to somebody else's system in this case i know this file doesn't have any sensitive data so i'm going to go here to choose file we're going to browse to the badware file which is under downloads badware and we'll see how many anti-malware vendors detected this as malicious. It's taking a while to scan. And, and you see there, they all have the red exclamation point. 56 engines detected this file as malicious. That's quite a few, right? Um, so that was a good test. So now let's just make a minor modification of this file and see if Windows Defender can detect it and also if... Uh, the vendors on virus total detects it okay and you also notice some of the uh anti-malware vendors this is what they call call the actual uh, what they catalog or name the virus they say not a virus here test file which is good so we'll test it here and with windows defender we'll make a couple modifications so i'm going to minimize this so edit icar.com open that with notepad and let's just add a couple characters the, at the beginning, maybe some at the end, and see if that even makes a difference. It shouldn't because the string is still embedded with all those characters. So let's add um, some text here. This is the best test ever. Bang, bang, bang. And we'll put something at the end too. Badware rocks almost as much as Nightwish. Okay, so let's save this as badware2, save as, we'll do badware2, we'll call it uh, all files, we'll do .exe, it doesn't really matter, it's not really an executable, badware2exe, okay. So now, all we did was add some text at the beginning, text at the end, let's upload it to virus total, see if there's any difference. So let's go back to virus total and we'll upload a new file. Choose file, badware2, open. Uh, you've chosen a file named badware2, yep. So the file size is 138 bytes. It's a little bit bigger because we added, you know, obviously some characters to it. It's analyzed in it. There was no existing hash for this file. This is a, this is a unique file, which is why it's taking a little bit longer. So let's see what it comes up with. And then once this is done, we will um, try win we'll enable Windows Defender again and see if it detects it. But you notice a lot of these are, are showing this up, showing up as clean, uh, which is kind of interesting because the signature is still exactly the same in the middle of the file. All we do is add some text at the beginning, some text at the end, and you can even make less dramatic modifications. And uh, most of the anti-malware will still detect it as, as um, clean. You can just change a couple characters, for instance. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting here. Uh, we have a few that still detected it. Mac, Secure, and Baidu. Uh, but before we had 56 out of 57, I think. And now we have 4 out of 52 so far. So not looking so good. And again, this is just to demonstrate the ineffectiveness of signature-based anti-malware uh, software or intrusion detection systems. Too many people place too much faith in signature-based technologies. We just proved that we could bypass it. All right, well, that's running. Uh, I think we proved our point there. We'll minimize this. We'll enable Windows Defender. Let's let's actually just right-click on this and scan it with Windows Defender. That'll be easier than just enabling it. So we're gonna explicitly scan um, that file. One file scan, so it did not detect it. Windows Defender didn't detect it as malicious. Let's just verify with a true test case that Windows Defender t detects this one. This is the icar.com.txt file. We had noticed it detected that one. So all we did uh, was just add some text to, to the beginning and end of the actual malicious string, uh, which we could easily strip off if we were delivering this uh, maliciously, strip off some characters beginning and the end, etc. cetera, uh, how we package the malware and bypass anti-malware. So that was just a quick demonstration. Feel free to play around 
with modifying the ICAR file a little bit uh, more or less and see if what kind of results you get.